level up, which to me was the air-cooled 911, in particular the 930 Turbo. Colin McAuliffe, I'm 52 years old from Malta, retired, and I'm a family man. I have always liked air-cooled cars um, since I was a very, a very young age. Uh, my father had a, a 1963 Beetle, I always loved that car. When he saw that, I was super sad about it. So then I automatically went into Volkswagen, airport Volkswagen myself. With my 50th birthday approaching, I wanted to go for uh, you know, the next level up, which to me was the Aircode 911, in particular the 930 Turbo. Um, and so I spent quite a few uh, months and years searching for my 930. On and off, I spent uh, at least two years. Uh, then at the end, when I you know, really thought, uh, th knew I was coming close to actually buying the car, the last four or five months was intense because I was looking at all, all auctions I could find, all online uh, markets I could find, uh, everything. And that got me down at the end to three cars. There was a car from Scotland, I believe there was uh, a car from the UK, and there was this one from Austria. But when I saw this, this was, this was uh, you know, like love at first sight because the condition seemed great, at least from the pictures and videos that he sent me. The first glimpse I got of the car was him coming out of this other garage. And this, you see this, this, this uh, 930 coming out of this garage. It was, an, it was afternoon, it was a sunny day on snow. So you can imagine the crispness of the air. And I, I see this, this uh, lovely metallic grey uh, 930 Porsche coming out, hearing this iconic sound of this, of this uh, uh, air-cooled uh, flat six coming out. And we, me and my friend were just looking at it and going, wow, you know. It looked flawless to us at the time. Um, in very good condition. And so we asked him to go for a, uh, a test run, which we did. He drove with my, uh, my friend crouched in the back seat because his back seat are pretty small, really, really crouched in, and me on the passenger side. And the first impression I got of what a 930 Turbo really is was the end because the guy went in on these country roads and hammered it. Literally. So I'm going my 44 year life, and I remember the experience telling me it's like being on a roller coaster. Because that was the, the feeling we got. You know, this, this car, which is pretty tiny, and it's going really, really fast on these country roads, and he's driving, and we're going, there's a corner coming, and he, he just goes around. And that was it. That was, you know. The first, the first, just well, I just flew back the next day, uh, like in like in this state of you know dreamland sort of thing, and I'm going, did I actually buy that car? Yeah. But it took another three to four weeks before the car landed here in Malta, and after paying all that money for the car, you know, it went. I remember spending two weeks in a warehouse in Austria, waiting for the carrier to come for, for it. So those 10 days, two weeks were pretty much torture for me. <laughs> it arrived on the 24th of December, which was Christmas Eve. Um, obviously it was a family event, so we all went to collect the car. After that, for, you know, till we got it registered, paid all the dues and all that, it was actually on the road four months later, in April. My first drive in the car, uh, I was I was pretty pretty tense. The car has a, a very stiff feel to it. Um, it only has power brakes and no power steering. Um, you know, so it's, 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 the clutch is it's, it's quite stiff as well. Uh, the position is a tiny bit offset, so so uh, I mean I, I had to mentally adjust to that. We drive on the right, the car is a left-hand drive, so even that, uh, you know, we need some adjustment. 
every time you, you know, like you, you know, road, you build up the boost over 3,500 revs, uh, and you feel the wash of the of the turbo. It is a very visual feel. The car has no electronics. It's got it's got no driving aids whatsoever. So it's just you and the car. It's very, very well uh, with me. So when I'm driving, I know what, what roughly what is doing. The more I, I get into driving the car, the more we get used to each other. It does have a sports exhaust. It's not a standard exhaust, so it sounds tiny bit better than standard. What I like a lot about it is that when when it's uh, when it when you drive when I'm driving it, it pops and crackles. You know, it uh, has quite a, quite a a fruity sound to it. So, and I get lots of comments about this. Well, should it do that? You know, is it misfiring? And it's, it's how the car sounds. You know, that's, that's basically how it is. So that's the one thing I really like about the car. I like this, this car particularly because of its air-cooled uh, design. Being air-cooled, it has a particular sound to it. Uh, being air-cooled, it has a particular characteristic to it, a, a character to it, which which uh, other Porsches uh, have don't. Uh, they have other characteristics to them, but not not the speed. The rockiness of the car, meaning it, it, there are no aids, you know, it's just you and the car and the way it feels. So that I really like about it as well. Uh, the shape, I love the, it's fat ass. Uh, <laughs> it's one of its most endearing features. I actually like this car particularly because the color is, was new for a late uh, 80s. They had three shades of silver which came up in the 70s. Uh, but this particular color, in my opinion, is the, the, you know, the, the brightest uh, metallic silver, you know, so it, it pops, it pops up much more, especially in the sun. So I like the color about it as well. There's no chrome on it. It was completely de chrome So, uh, the, and the wheels, and the wheels were um, uh, it's nine inch at the back and seven inch at the front. So it has presence, you know, the car has presence. For that reason, I, I, you know, I, I love this car because it, it's usable. Um, uh, it, it gives you, it gives you that thrill, but it's also reliable.